So I've just arrived at this lovely hostel, but they are shut. No, nope, it doesn't work. It's starting to get late. It's coming up to seven o'clock. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. the road now evening with a uh, Russian family who have recently moved to Slovenia. We went for a little wander around the town, walked up the hill to the local church and then had a nice little dinner, bit of a chat. The son didn't speak any English but he's making a real effort with his, uh, with his phone, with Google Translate. It must be really difficult for him, he's only just moved over and he's just turned 16. But he's got a girlfriend back home. He's actually heading back this weekend because he's only here on a tourist visa, but hopefully they'll be reunited soon. So I've just arrived at this lovely hostel, but they are shut. I guess they don't hang around after they've done the checkout. Late last night, there was a room available. The price of a room was 56 euros though, for one night. It was a double room and they don't have single rooms or dorms so I was gonna come here and perhaps try to negotiate or maybe ask them if I can camp out back but there's no one in generally what happens is if you've if you've made a booking then they'll make the effort to come down and, and open up and, and check you in otherwise they'll, they'll stay at home so I was going to bite the bullet and and just make the booking so I can just get settled but I just checked and they are sold out that room's gone which is weird because I rang the doorbell and there's, there's clearly no one here. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Nope, first number doesn't work. Nope. The next place is 15, 20 kilometers away, so I don't know. Just over the border, there is a place for seven euros. The only problem is it's exactly where I just came from and then some. I don't know whether to wait and hope that someone shows up because they're not due to open till tomorrow morning now or start walking to Petui, which is where I'm going tomorrow and hope that I find something on the way. I don't think anyone's showing up. I actually knocked next door because I think that property belongs uh, to them. Yeah, there's literally, there's no noise whatsoever. Doesn't seem to be anyone in there despite being fully booked. So I think what I'm gonna do, because it's starting to get late, it's already, it's coming up to seven o'clock. I think I'm gonna try and catch a bus to Ptui and stay at a hostel there. There's, there's a few, there are quite a few there. And then catch a bus back here in the morning. 
only to walk back again. I did see a bus come past earlier. I just hope it goes in the direction I want it to. And the other thing is, they're so irregular, they only come every few hours. So that's another thing. And I'm running dangerously low on the old H2O. And food for that matter. And there's no, t no village or shop around. So let's see. Okay, so there is a bus stop. Let's see if it's going to the right place. Oh. Uh. I mean, I guess Sobota Saturday, that's probably Sunday and uh, holidays. That'll be Monday to Friday, I guess. Makola? Mm. It's in the opposite direction. I want to be going up there. But Maishberg seems to be in the right direction. That bus ain't coming till the quarter past nine. Let me double check with the bus stop on the other side, see if that correlates. Oh, seems to have exactly the same timetable. How's that supposed to work? Well, either way, quarter past nine. And I'm not sure if it goes as far as Patu either, even if I did wait that long. Maybe I should try and hitchhike. Well, I seem to be running out of other options, so... Shadow's getting awfully long. This is so awkward. So I just got a message from um, Giga who uh, I contacted on Couchsurfing before, unfortunately he's at his parents' farm uh, so he couldn't host me. He did say to contact him in case there were any issues today. So he just wrote me back and um, said that he could come and pick me up. I'll help on the farm, which would be great. And then I'll figure out how to get back here in the morning. Woohoo! Right, I'm going to wait for my rescuer here. But uh, at my girlfriend place, her mother and father are, are also on vacation in Croatia. Yeah. So I, I have a little farm there to to, to, <laughs> to watch for the animals. And nice. Like that. So it's yeah, yeah. I'd love to help <laughs> if I can. I'm very busy at the moment, so it's okay for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very big church for this small village. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah. It looks very big. And what village is this? Uh, yes. What, what's the name of the village? Petuskagora. Petus 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 uh, it's also the name of the church. Uh -huh. This is the school. <laughs> Your school? No, no. Oh, like primary school. Rogash has this uh, mineral water, you may have heard of it. Yeah. Dona Tenge is the richest water in magnesium in the world.
Walnut and pears. Yes. Walnut. Orejo, let's see. Na zdravie. Na zdravie. That's really tasty. <laughs> That's really tasty. <laughs> but here in Slovenia, everyone drinks this. Drinks the sun? And from this, we work oh, wow. this one. We put sugar somewhere here mm -hmm. and just add fruit. Mm -hmm. just those are blueberries. Uh -huh. And we also work with cherries and mm -hmm. uh, strawberries. Mm -hmm. It's the same pro procedure. With sugar, blueberries and a little bit of uh, spirit. Mm -hmm. Just wait for one month here mm -hmm. with the sun mm -hmm. and just add more spirit, this one. Uh -huh. And then just leave here and that's it. <laughs> nice, nice. And then you've got spirits for God knows how long is that gonna last? Not so long. <laughs> because you drink it? <laughs> yes. Oh. When, uh, when kind of neighbors, relatives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, no, that's nice. Enjoy the spirit. Yeah. Mm. So this is spirit and this is brandy. Yes, that was have, your uh, choice? <laughs> we have choice, yes. Sports or German or something else. It's uh -huh. cool. And I choose sports, of course. Of course. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> nice. A lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. Too much, I think. Yeah. And you made this one last year? Yes. This is not uh, the right uh, template. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh, it's, got, it's got fruit in it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Chin chin. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that's strong. A little bit. Oh, wow. That's the idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really nice. I really like that one. Here, you see green walnuts? Wow. Here's the, the spirit on a lot of all wow. the spirit. Wow! Yeah. The same in the different phases. This is the young one, and this is much older, but it's not drinkable uh -huh. at the moment. Zdravie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not so good. Yeah. Not so good. I like that one. It's not bad, yeah, but, but it could be bad. Uh, What a great night's sleep I had. Jiga very helpfully brought me back to where he picked me up from yesterday so that I can continue on my way without having to walk here first. It was actually meant to rain all day today, but as you can see, there's no rain yet. It's just overcast. There is a big storm coming. It's meant to hit about one o'clock and it's now nine-ish, half nine. I've got about three, three and a half hours to get to Petui. Don't fancy my chances, but at least it's not raining now. Terrain. I've got about 500 meters to go. Nailed it.
Come on. No. I understand. So, police car just happened to drive past and they stopped about 100 meters behind me. They're definitely gonna turn around. Yeah, there they are. Ah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> they're very pleasant. As soon as they know that I'm not a migrant, they're all pleasant. It's not really about that, I guess. It's just the annoyance of being stopped, you know, two, three times a day. But yeah, anyway. It's the skin I was born with. This whole thing has reminded me of a game that we used to play in Zafaza land. Um, as children. It was a horribly racist game. But as kids, obviously, as eight-year-olds, we didn't know better. See if you can pick up where these subtle racist overtones kick in. Supposed to go over this? Oh, okay. Oh, look how cute this bridge is. So, you had a catcher on one side of the room, and then everybody else was gathered on the other, opposite side. And, ow. and then the catcher would yell, Wer hat Angst vom schwarzen Mann? And everybody else would respond, Niemand! And so he'd say, Und wenn er kommt? To which the answer came, Dann rennen wir! And so, everybody had to try and get to the other side of the room without being caught. We used to play it in kindergarten and in, in primary school. Surprised none of the teachers ever picked up on it. In fact, we used to play it in school. Fun game though. Again. Somebody called him this time. So those people over there are getting a front row seat to the whole thing. I'm sure they're enjoying it. <laughs> They've been munching that ice cream for ages. They are really friends with the dog and with the cats, so <laughs> The dog doesn't like chase them? No, 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 no. She's very friendly, but she just don't like men. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Boris is always walking with me. <laughs> so yeah, it's really good to have own fruit because in the markets it's expensive. Yeah, I imagine it's a lot of work though. Uh, yeah, but my father loves to do it. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> we just love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. What's that one? I really don't know. <laughs> what what does the fruit taste? Does can, is it edible? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's edible, but I think it's sour and it's not good. What is? Oh yeah, it's really sour. Oh no! Thank you, thank you, thank you. 